Hey everyone, welcome back to the Aimless Nation. This week I'm going to do a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I've seen a couple of YouTubers do it and thought I want to give that a go because I can't paint so I want to see if he can make me make something good. However, I was filming down south and I had a brain fart and forgot to have my mic plugged in for most of the video. However, we've saved it, it's cool. So this is me commentating on me doing a Bob Ross tutorial. So let's just bring this down, channel our inner Bob Ross. I'm certainly glad you've joined me today. Let's get on with some happy painting. Oh, here goes nothing, let's get started. So let's just have a fun, fun time today. I will put the colors below so you can see what I've used. This painting only uses three colors, which is why I picked it, thinking that would make it nice and easy for me. I was wrong. We've mixed sort of like the blue and black together to make this sort of moody blue for the sky and we're creating a sky by doing a crisscrossy pattern which I think I ditched and just kind of did my own pattern against Bob Ross's best wishes. We're checking in to make sure that Bob is, is with us. Anybody can do it even if they're colorblind. It's no big deal. Blend it from side to side side to side this was the most relaxing bit of the whole thing this blending of the sky everything from here on out is anxiety ridden i was quite impressed with how my sky looked we'll take the same colors just black and blue and let's lay in a little water so now we're making a slightly darker blue with the blue and black to make what will become our horizon land horizon land and then we blend from side to side now we were trying to keep a bit of the slightly lighter whiter color in the middle like we've done here shake off the excess <laughs> and beat the devil out of it now we've got a fan brush clearly got no confidence in the next step or my fan brush time to create some fluffy little clouds in the sky and then we blended them. We didn't like them, we were unimpressed. So then we just went back and did some more. Add in some gray to make them look dark and moody. It's, I think I spent about an hour on the clouds. Let your imagination take you wherever you wanna go. All right, let's have some fun. We'll have maybe, maybe there's a little mountain there. So now we're gonna create our mountains. So we've made a darker blue colour and we're using our fan brush, or a fan brush, to create some mountains. You can't know happiness unless you've known a little bit of sorrow. This is the point where the stress really starts, because you've got a nice background and you're just adding dark colours. So then we're going to, we kind of paint in some more blue. I don't know if that's intentional, if that was a mistake, but we turned it into a thing and then we blend with our big brush. There's some mountains, just like that. Would quite happily have stopped here. Just play some games here. Take a palette knife and get some white, and then we're just adding some snow. The palette knife was really hard to master the skill of. I kind of felt like I was just going to cut the canvas at any point, and it just felt like I was making a lot of mess 90% of the time. But we kind of managed to make some snow on the mountains. Now we've taken a darker colour and we're just doing some little kind of bushes. Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. Look at all my colours. So take that palette knife that we struggled with the whole way through and just add some white to create some depth to the horizon. I don't know. Making a grey. We're doing the grey. Maybe back here lives some little evergreen trees that are far away. We kind of switched between the fan brushes, which were what we were meant to be using, and another little brush, because the fan brush wasn't always doing what I wanted it to do. And then take the palette knife to create a water... Is it a water line? I think this might have been the water line. Horizon line. I don't know. Something like that. Some snow. Add some snow. You can put layer after layer after layer in your painting. And maybe right in here, we'll just push upward with a, with a brush. Add some grass and then add some happy little trees. These were the first proper dark trees that we did and I thought this was going to be it. This big one was caused me a lot of anxiety and then I realised that was just the beginning. <laughs> just a little smudge and then we had some big dark patches which I hated doing to make the reflection line. So 
So what's happened here is I also forgot to record me doing my big tree. Um, so this is me telling you how much anxiety the big tree cause, caused me, but also I quite appreciated it when it was finished and I was quite impressed with the effect overall. We got a big tree, it lives right there. Why are you like this? Why do you forsake me? A good no! Stop! I've done one big tree. How far down do you go? We're doing another one. We're just doing a whole bloody forest, Bob. Here we go. Here we go. Eat. Look at the tree! Right, and then we need a little, little guy next to him. Come on, Bob. Here we go, Bob. We're on the home stretch now. I'm getting confident. Watch this go really badly wrong. You have to really commit, and I didn't commit that time. Oh, no, that's not okay. That's a really bent tree. Wow, we've just ruined the paint M. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Bring it down. Bring it down. But me and the palette knife aren't the best of friends. It's not my favorite technique. Mm -mm. That's awful. That's ruined it, hasn't it? Oh, but I liked the reflection. It was looking good and now it's awful. I don't like this bit. What bit? This whole horizon bit. I liked it when my trees came over. Well, see see the water line, the thick water line, if you got going back? Yeah. you got to blend that. Yeah, yeah, stop. Can I make my trees just come down again? I preferred it when I had just no, trees. No, no, I think that looks good. Honestly. I don't like this bit. Stop. just a gorgeous little painting so everyone that is the end of our Bob Ross painting tutorial I didn't have any audio for <laughs> all of filming that so I hope you enjoy the voiceover that I've put on this lovely video thank you all for watching me try and do a Bob Ross painting there were some stressful moments there were some moments where the camera weren't even rolling to record the stressful moments which made them even more stressful but overall I'm so proud of myself Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Happy painting. Bye. I'm covered in paint. <laughs>